Assalamu alaikum. The U.S. lost track of why it was in Afghanistan, General McKenzie. Last August, as city after city in Afghanistan fell to the Taliban, General Kenneth A. Frank, McKenzie was watching from his post in Tampa, Florida McKenzie, the commander of U.S. Central Command at the time, was in regular contact with U.S. forces on the ground in Afghanistan as they evacuated. His position had him overseeing military operations in East Africa, the Middle East and beyond. Recently retired, McKenzie joined All Things Considered to reflect on the withdrawal from Afghanistan, who bears responsibility for the way it unfolded, and how the U.S. lost track of why it was in the country to begin with. I actually flew to Doha on the 15th of August to talk to the Taliban, to tell them that we were, in fact, going to withdraw. We were going to execute a non-combatant evacuation operation, a NEO in our technical lexicon, and if they interfered with that, we would punish them severely. The plan was to try to get the Taliban to stop at a perimeter maybe 15 or 20 kilometers outside Kabul. We wanted them to not come any closer until we pulled our forces out. The Taliban were not going to interfere with us. And we had, in fact, established a modality where my commanders on the ground could talk to them about security issues in the vicinity of the airport. So we accomplished what we wanted to accomplish in that meeting. We were not able to do that. And that's something that haunts me to this day. We had forces that were around the airport on the 15th and 16th. I actually visited the airport on the 17th of August. I was on the ground, walked around a little bit, saw some of the things that were going on. And what you've got is a capacity problem. You've got to process all these people. It took a while, frankly, for our consular officials to get there in the numbers needed to handle the press of people that were outside. So, no, we did not get everybody out that we wanted to get out. We got well over 120,000 people out. And that's the good news story. The bad well, anytime American soldiers, sailors, marines lose their lives, you spend a lot of time thinking about decisions that you could have made and done differently. So, yes, I think about that quite a bit from the perspective of, right at the end, what could we have done differently? I think it's going to be a very tough time. I regret what happened last summer. I regret that we were unable to provide a form of government that would allow for the development of human rights, women's issues, a variety of things, all of which are being, as you know, systematically deconstructed by the Taliban right now. And I fear it's going to get much, much worse before it gets any better. Content Fox News